What happens if cooling fan stops working in laptop? Motherboards, logic boards are specifically designed to vent the hot air and keep the dice or chip cool. You might experience the following issues when the computer overheats. After pressing the power button, the computer freezes on a black screen and Windows does not start, or Windows starts but does not respond. Basic tasks or applications take more time to complete than usual. Windows does not respond, suddenly restarts, or displays an error message while in use. Games stop responding during play. Fans inside the computer become louder as they start spinning faster to remove excess heat. Fan stops working. The mouse and keyboard stop responding. If the fan in your computer stops even for a couple of minutes you'll smoke coming out of your laptop and screen goes blank in no time. Can I use my laptop if the fan is broken? Essentially you will kill your laptop. You may be able to use a cooling pad in lieu of the actual internal fan but that still might not be enough. The more you run it without the fan, it will get hotter than its specified limit and the cup will be under too much stress. Essentially you will kill your laptop. What to do when cooling fan stops working? When you realize that the CPU fan is going to be damaged, you had better replace it with a good one before it stops working completely to prevent your computer from booting. You can also clean the cooling fan if you know how to do it. Here I will show you how I cleaned the laptop cooling fan. Turn off your laptop and unplug from power sources. Open the laptop cover to locate where the CPU fan is connected to the motherboard. You need to unplug the CPU fan. Check the fan blade by rotating it. If the fan blade is not rotating smoothly, then the shaft may be stuck with dirt. You can connect the fan to a power supply to check if the motor is still working. If the fan rotates then you need to clean the fan's bearing and shaft. You can use a small brush to wipe dust or dirty things on the fan. After wiping dust or dirt on the fan, you can use some oil to lubricate the fan bearing. Please be careful in case of spraying other components of computer. Now that the cooling fan is clean, we can now proceed with the assembly and reinstallation.
Test the CPU cooling fan if rotating smoothly. It should be working now. Continue to install the cooling fan. Ensure it's installed perfectly on the computer's motherboard. Computer fans often get clogged and need to be cleaned. Sometimes the fan is fine, and sometimes it needs to be replaced. Computer fans are typically relatively inexpensive, $5 to $35, and most of the time you're paying for labor costs. You can avoid spending money if you know how to clean the cooling fan yourself. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.